Okay guys, so first I'm gonna start off by priming my face with Primed Poreless by Too Faced. But first, coffee. Next I'm gonna use this new foundation that I just bought. It's the Amazonian Clay. I've been wanting to use this for a while. I just barely got my hands on it. So we're gonna give it a try for this look. So latest news of the day is that last night we added a new member to the family, another dog. Her name is Virus and she's a girl and she is just the cutest thing. Shout out to Steven from Boss Pits for letting us have her, letting us adopt her really because he, you know, raised her from when she was a baby. She's about a year and a half years old and she's just, she's one of the most loving pit bulls I've ever met. She like loves me more than Samson loves me and you guys know how much I love Samson. He's my baby. He'll always be my baby, my firstborn, you know, but this girl, she's just got all of this love to give and so if you hear all the commotion going on in the background, that's what's happening. It's like having two kids really, like having two pits is like having two kids, like there's a lot more going on than just with one so but we're really happy you know we we really the reason we decided to adopt another one is because you know we work a lot we're always out and about as you guys know I just have a really busy life I travel you know and and my husband same thing and so we really wanted a companion for Samson you know he's here all alone by himself most of the day so we just wanted him to have a buddy to play with and to just you know enjoy life with so we're so far so good we're very happy that we got him a buddy so you'll be seeing a picture of her soon on my Instagram or something holy grail Laura Mercier high coverage foundation that I love Now a step you guys that you never want to forget is to powder your foundation so that it seals it and it doesn't move and I always as always use my secret brightening powder by Laura Mercier to just you know really set my foundation under my <clears throat> eyes. Now we're going to move on to eyebrows. I'm going to be using, you know, I'm sorry it's a pomade, but it came in a kit and I don't know what kit it came from, I, I forgot, but I love it because it's very creamy and it's just a brow pomade, just like the Anastasia one, but this one is still very creamy. The Anastasia one tends to dry out if you don't use it. So I'm, I'm using this one right now, it's in the color 01 whatever that means. Okay, now I got my eyebrows on. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and set them with this gel, eyebrow gel from Rimmel London. Moving on to eyeshadow, I'm going to be using the Too Faced Chocolate Bonbons Palette. I love this palette very much because it's got all the yummy Valentine's Day colors. Look at that selection right there. It's beautiful. So we're going to do, you know, a Valentine's themed look today. I really want to use the pinks. I was debating whether I should do the reds or the pinks, but I really want to do the pinks because it's most flattering on me personally and I love pink, especially for Valentine's Day. So we're just gonna go ahead and do pink for today. And I'm gonna start off with cotton candy right there. And I'm gonna use that on my lid.
Okay, now for the top of my eyebrow, I'm gonna use satin sheets right there. And I really love how pigmented these colors are because you just need a little bit and look at all that pigment, you guys. I'm barely even touching the brush and that's what I love about Too Faced products is that their eyeshadows are just so pigmented. I'm gonna go in with Bordeaux as my crease color. So we're gonna do this nice and slow because a little goes a long way with these. bigger um, blending brush and I'm just gonna blend it all together very nicely here. The blending part of your look it just makes your look. It either makes it great or makes it horrible depending on how good you are at blending. So take your time with this process of blending because it's very important to blend. Okay guys now that we did that I'm gonna go back in, um, in to my crease with this totally fetch color right here. I love that pink, it's so beautiful. So we're gonna give it a shot just to give it a more pow effect to this look. Okay, now I'm gonna go back in with the same big blending brush and I'm just gonna blend it all together again. I'm gonna pick up Cafe Olay right there and I wanna add just a little bit of shimmer to my inner crease. I just want a little bit more of like a boom effect. Right here. a little bit. And I'm really just creating this look as I go, you guys. I didn't have like a set plan. I just knew that I really wanted to use like pinks, you know, and you know, it's just fun to experiment sometimes. You don't have to like know exactly what you're going for, but just have fun. You know, I love being a girl, being a girly girl and just exploring with new makeup and new products and just makes it all fun. For mascara, I'm gonna use my L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara in Carbon Black. This is my favorite one, I love it so much. It just pulls out all of my long lashes and just gives it the best look possible. If you're single, you have to know that you know, no matter who you meet, they're never gonna complete you or fully satisfy you. It's more about finding someone that really compliments you in your life and you know, because you're fully self-aware of who you are that you can compliment that person's life and vice versa, they can compliment you. So, you know, don't, don't worry about being single. Just enjoy your singleness, enjoy the season of your life. Use it to your advantage to really help discover who you are as a person, what your likes are, what your dislikes are, so that when you do finally meet that person that's supposed to be in your life, you can fully give yourself to them in a, in a really beautiful way and you guys are just gonna compliment each other so well and everyone's gonna take notice and it's gonna be great but until then your season of singleness is just as great because you have the freedom and the liberty to do whatever you want and to fully discover who you are so remember that if you're single okay so I just did my other mascara my um, camera just for the first time it heated up on me and it turned off I'm, I've never had that happen to her, to me before. I have the Sony A5100. Have you guys had that happen to you before? Let me know in the comments below because I don't know what to do now. I'm thinking maybe I should buy a new camera maybe. I don't know. But let me know. Um, this is the Sony A5100 and this is the first time it overheats on me. So any suggestions? I would love to know what you have to say about that. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and put on my eyelashes and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I got my eyelashes on and these are very va va boom. Perfect for Valentine's Day as you can see. I don't even need um, liquid eyeliner for these because they're just amazing. They're from Ardell. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and contour my face, put on some blush and then do my lipstick. So let's get going. 
So for contour, I'm gonna use my e.l.f. little um, bronzer that I really like. It's actually for eye for uh, your eyebrows, but I use it as bronzer because I just love this color. It's perfect for my skin tone. It um, really goes very well with me, so. You just gotta get in where you fit in, you guys. <laughs> A little bit in a rush because I gotta be at church soon, so just trying to get this done. And then my nose contour. I I don't go all out with this. I just kind of do a little bit of powder just to make it look a, a little slimmer, you know. Moving on to blush, I am going to be using my Stilla kit, my Stilla palette right here, and I'm gonna use. The lighter color it's called vibrant such a beautiful beautiful color for highlighter I'm gonna be using my of course Anastasia Beverly Hills kit I'm gonna pick up bubbly for today bubbly right there Now for lips, today I'm going to be using this new pencil that I bought from Smashbox. And this one is in the color Nude Fair and it's called the Smashbox Always Sharp Lip Liner. Okay guys, and for lips I'm using the Stilla liquid lipstick, stay all day liquid lipstick in the color rouge, wait hold on, that's not the color, <laughs> the color is Batina, Batina, that sounds very Latina, <laughs> but I love this color, it's like the perfect nude for me. Uh, if you're Hispanic or, you know, colored, I should say. It is so difficult to find a really good nude lipstick that goes with your skin tone. And this one, I mean it is a little pinkish too, but when it dries up it looks very nude and I love it because it's like that mauve color that's really in right now, the mauve. Everybody loves it and I love it. And this is a really good liquid lipstick. And now I'm just gonna powder my face with my Merle Norman powder that I'm almost all out of. <laughs> Gotta go get a new one. Just to set everything, make it look nice. Okay, and I'm done. So now I'm just gonna curl my hair, make me look a little you know, cute romantic curls kind of a thing for V-Day. So I'm gonna do like the big the big curls. So I'm gonna do a few here. I wanna do like my tips. Um, nothing too fancy, but just something that looks really cute and romantic. So what do you guys have planned for Valentine's Day? I would really wanna know what you're doing if you're single or if you're not single, whatever you're doing, comment down below and let me know and I'll let you guys know right now what I'm doing. We are actually staying in this year because, you know, it's really hard to get reservations on Valentine's Day and even if you do get reservations, the restaurants are super crowded, super full and I just, you know what? I'm okay. I, I'd rather just stay home, cook a nice dinner at home, eat something, you know, semi-healthy and and then, you know, exchange gifts just in the comfort of our own home, you know. And now we have two dogs to worry about, so it makes sense for us to just stay in with them and hang out as a family. So I'm really looking forward to that, just staying in on Valentine's Day, especially because it lands on a weekday this year. Bummer for that, but you know, if it was on a Saturday, then yeah, probably we, we would go out. But this year, it's it's on a weekday. You know, we work the next day, so we're just gonna stay in and hang out at home. Okay, so I'm done curling it. Now I'm just gonna add some 
Rusk hairspray. I love this stuff. Have you guys smelt it? It smells amazing. If you haven't, go check it out. Add some hairspray so it can stay. And again, not too crazy with the curls. Just wanted to like curl my tips a little bit, make it look nice, romantic. And that's it, you guys. That completes the final look. I hope you enjoyed this makeup tutorial for Valentine's Day. And again, let me know what you're doing for Valentine's Day. I would love to know. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so at this time so that you can be the first one to be notified when I upload a new video. And let me know what kind of videos you would like to see on this channel. You know, I'm open to suggestions. I really wanna know what you like out there and I'm willing to make it happen for you. So, you know, I have a few DIY projects I wanna start working on, but I have a lot of things in store for this channel. So I would love for you to be a part of it by joining my community and stay in touch with me via my social media sites as well. And of course, as always, I just wanna leave you with a little word of encouragement. You know, the word of God is so real and so tangible for any situation that you're in. And you know, John 3, 16, says for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever should believe in him should not perish or die but have everlasting life and so he is the number one love you know if you don't know him I invite you right now to get to know him and just you know ask him to be your personal Lord and Savior you know no matter if you're dating or you're not dating or if you're with someone or you're not with someone it doesn't matter because the only love that can truly satisfy your soul is the love that comes from our Savior, Jesus Christ. And I say that with all humility because He has changed my life and I want you to know Him too. So if you want to make that decision today, I invite you to say this prayer. Just repeat after me. Just say, Father, I know that I'm a sinner and I ask you to forgive me. I believe Jesus Christ died for me and I want to turn from my sins. Jesus, come into my heart and be my personal Lord and Savior. I promise to obey you and follow you all the days of my life. In Jesus' name, amen. And if you said that prayer with your entire whole heart, I believe that you have been, become born again and that you are now a child of God. And so the next step would be for you to get plugged into a church that is a biblical-based church where you can um, just learn and and grow in your walk with God and so you know just google churches in your area there's so many churches out there so many great churches that are willing to help you and encourage you and and inspire you in your walk with God but welcome to the family I love you and I hope you have a wonderful Valentine's Day no matter what season in life you are God bless you and I'll talk to you later